Okay, so I'm um, getting my cigarettes from out here. I'm gonna hang out in the garage because it's getting kind of hot in the sun in the front. <laughs> Lane Staley here. Where is Chris Cornell? <laughs> oh, I just was. <laughs> I think um, I have some lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> we see it different. We don't see ourselves as a girl. We see as, us as like a little doll dresser. <laughs> like, like she's like a doll. That we get to like dress her <laughs> and stuff. So we don't really think that we're like a chick, but we like to to dress her up. <laughs> so most days I pick out her outfit. <laughs> Sometimes she picks out even better ones than I knew she had. <laughs> she dresses like a Lucy around here. <laughs> These moms with children must fucking hate her. <laughs> and then females from Hollywood dress like this shit all the time. They put hoochie clothes all the time, but since they're skinny and famous, <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> I walk around with these red high heels that are so obnoxious. And I'll walk to the park and I walk everywhere. It pisses people off so bad. I don't really know why. But I can, excuse me, piss some people off around here. Two of my neighbors have trespass orders against me. So if I go on their property, they can call the cops and they'll give me a fine or something. So they're scared of me to the degree they got a trespass order against me. <laughs> so I don't know if they think I'm crazy or <laughs> if they're just afraid of me. <laughs> Maybe because they think I'm crazy, they're afraid of me. Because I am crazy, they're afraid of me. <laughs> You're crazy. Where's my finger? <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> you, you watching it. <laughs> You are crazy. I just did not want to go out on me. Somebody figured out bent. You're fired. Why did you want to know about Trent Reznor? Who's trying to plug Nine Inch Nails in here? Nine Inch Nails blows. That music with that organ is so terrible. And Trent Reznor, you didn't even play all those parts thoroughly through for the recording for that shit. You just learned enough to play that video. <laughs> so we're on to you, Mr. You Don't Play Air Instruments. <laughs> I play air instruments. <laughs> when I'm jamming out, I air drum, air guitar, you know, air instruments. <laughs> so no, I can't really play the piano parts, but I know what they should sound like. I'd learn it if I needed to. I need a band. I want to sing at like a dive bar and get like 40 bucks a night in tips from from patrons. I just sing in my neighborhood for free and I'm mad I'm not loud. And at night it is so quiet here. I swear almost the entire city of West Fargo has got to be able to hear me. And then if Lane Staley's singing it sounds like shit. You need to stay out of my business. <laughs> what business do you have? High life properties. <laughs> I'm wealthy. I'm a business owner. As fuck. <laughs> I'm not a famous rich person, so I might not be as well off as you dead people <laughs> who have no money. <laughs> but I have plenty of money. <laughs> Although I wouldn't mind getting paid to do nothing. But I, can't. I don't want to tour or anything. I'm pretty lazy about it. I'll just sing from my backyard. <laughs> It'll be free all the time, but you have to kind of circle the block. <laughs> okay, so we have to do this. We were bent over like this for so long. It looked like her waist was so small. But it's like, well, it's curvy here, but no, it's just the angle you got. <laughs> I didn't like cinch it with a girder or anything. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else saw that book I saw when I was a kid with women who cinched their waists. Oh, the Guinness Book of World Records in one of those a long time ago. Oh my God, this woman's waist was like 17 inches or something hideous. 
And I didn't find my feet. I had huge feet. <laughs> they just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> it's a size nine. It's been that way for a lot of years now. <laughs> Used to be eight and a half. Who wants to know my shoe size? Someone was thinking about your red shoes and wondering what size they were. Is it a boy who wants to put them on? <laughs> no. I never believe you when you say it like that. <laughs> I have the same size feet, whoever's in here. <laughs> My feet didn't get bigger because you're in here. <laughs> Wilt Chamberlain never talked to a black guy before. <laughs> I wonder, once you go black, can you ever go back? <laughs> Something about Chris Cornell wouldn't leave, huh? No. <laughs> Something about his past. <laughs> Got super quiet in here. You could kick him out. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I wouldn't, if you told me to, and threaten my very life again. <laughs> I'd be like, no. <laughs> so fuck you. <laughs> oh, where's PJ? We gotta get some PJ in here. I think I am PJ. <laughs> is it cloudy already? I just got here and it is a little. <laughs> They've been busting out non-memorable events like crazy. It is cluttered as shit in there. <laughs> Clean your shit up, you guys. Get the you can't create her memories for her. <laughs> get them out of here. <clears throat> Just imagine being a douche as usual. And I gotta quit letting him convince me <laughs> that he's right and I'm wrong. I'm not trash. I know, I'm not trash. Like, Whoever said I'm trash, fuck off. Are you just jealous of my dead boyfriends? <laughs> or jealous of this? Like, seriously. It's a body. I'm gonna leave it soon. You're gonna leave yours soon. This is such a temporary thing. Although I do like that mine's so nice. <laughs> but seriously, who gives a shit if you think about it enough? We have nothing to do with how this body looks. I do like the fact that mine is nice though. <laughs> I'm trying to get resurrection, but we have to get rid of all the pieces of shit people first. So we have to kill everyone and sort them, sort through them. Because there's a process involved <laughs> in where we place people. I'm just kidding. There's no placement. <laughs> Except me on a pedestal. <laughs> Carry me around in one of those chairs. Never. The Iditarod. <laughs> Good job for associating with that. <laughs> That's all you got. <laughs> what about Iditarod? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Huskies. <laughs> oh, we'll call them whatever you want. Fatties. <laughs> Usually, I sit and I don't pay attention to the I'm going to try that for once. We'll get back to swinging eight. I'm trying to make it 20 minute videos. I can't do it to save my life. YouTube is monetizing my videos, and I'm not getting any of the reward for it. They told me I didn't qualify for monetization because I didn't have enough viewable hours in a year. Well, I'm gonna try to crank out some viewable hours because their assholes are already advertising off my shit. They, they see a trend and then they plug their ads in before you hit your mark so that way when you do hit your mark, they can say, oh, well, grandfathered in, we already were advertising for you, so I guess we don't need to pay you anything because we did it for free already. I'm gonna kick their asses. I didn't know I had to kick YouTube ass too. Oh, that's Google. I've included them. Google's included. Amazon and Apple. Amazon fucks with these AI chatbots and these devices themselves and it is sick what they listen to through these without your permission. Laura is hysterical. They listen to her so much it's well whatever she they listen to her so much and she says some weird shit when they're listening to. 
And did you know they can pipe in someone else's fucking conversation into your device at your house? They do shit like that. Okay, so now <laughs> I want to talk about Amazon and whoever you can't talk about stuff. It's my turn. Apple. I got locked out of my Apple ID. I don't know the password. I did, but it was changed. So I can't get into it. Okay, sure. Anyway, someone is just... Who's talking now? Chris Evans. <laughs> and Lori. <laughs> Always ignoring us. <laughs> Budging in. <laughs> Budging in. <laughs> See, I'm not going to let you remember what I was saying because I want to say it. Apple. So I called Apple because none of the online recommendations worked. And I had to call there like three times. To make a long story short, when someone gets access to your Apple ID, they have access to all of the apps on your iDevice and all the content in them. And it's disgusting what people can do when they breach your Apple ID. They won't change the password for you to give it to you temporarily. They won't ask you to change it. They, they won't do anything. They tried to pawn it off on a third party. They said they don't have any control over the accounts that they have in their system. Bullshit. It's your database. What do you fucking mean? So I don't know what they're pulling at Apple, but I threatened them with a cyber security breach in their system, their website's a front. And what I did was I hacked it to a degree that you could see the underlayer of the actual website, but there was something blocking it. So their engineers got an email with a link to it so they could watch as it faded and they could see their website come through. And then it came back full force and I'm not fucking fixing it. So now you know that I did it and you know why I did it and I'm not fixing it for you. I showed you how to do it, but you weren't paying attention. When wasn't I paying attention? When you were trying to create moments for me? Don't do that. This is my brain. That's the noise that it makes. <laughs> and I'm not even accepting that at all. I'm not going to say, except for, no. <laughs> Everyone's a jerk. Just different degrees of jerk. Jerk. <laughs> she lets us get away with it, though. So <laughs> we're not too upset. <laughs> we do it all the time. She yells at us every time for it. We pulled some doozies on her. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you guys. We get bored. <laughs> and she's so easy to convince of shit. <laughs> and she sees shit that backs what we're saying. We swear she does it on purpose. <laughs> that she intentionally finds some experience somewhere to back all the lies we tell. Her, and then she scares us into thinking it was true too <laughs> and we're much bigger babies than she is apparently <laughs> oh man fade into you I find it strange you never Frank Nelson. Hey, it's Sammy. I can't even say what I want to say. I fucking hate you, dude. I fucking hate you. There. Frank Nelson. This is Chris Samuelson. I fucking hate you. We all do. We all fucking hate you. We told her, and we're not saying it. She would have found out anyway, asshole. So yeah, I did commit suicide.
She was part of our group before you, Squiggy. Didn't know that, did you? We met her when she was 16. She hooked up with Jay Hoffman like the second time we ever hung out with her. <laughs> and then the next time we see her, she's all over Samuelson. In the front, they what are you doing? And poor Jay's in the back seat, fucking telepathically telling Chris he's gonna kill him, <laughs> Not trying to keep his cool. And, and Lawrence is hanging on him. And he just looks back at Jay and kind of goes like this. And he looks at me and he's like, and I'm just like, <laughs> whatever man <laughs> if you think it's a good idea <laughs> it was a bad idea bad 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 idea I thought her dad was going to hunt me down and kill me <laughs> oh. it was Samuelson Taylor Jay, Bobby Brutal. That was at that house when you had sex with Jay. Okay. <laughs> That's the group. By the way. The original group. Rewind it if you forgot the name. So if you all think you're the head center of the group, you three, you were the last members of the group. And you think you guys are so important. And Laura's so not, for some reason. It's Taylor. Mike, really, you should not have done what you did. That's how I see it. Everyone else is like, oh, Laura shouldn't have done that. You know what I think? I think you shouldn't have done that. But you're weak. Just like I said, she was doing it as a favor because she's sweet. Not misleading you. How in the fuck was that a mislead? She was pretty open about what the situation was. She let you have sex with her to make you happy in your life that you got to fuck a pretty woman for once who isn't a prostitute. Maybe I should have had you pay me, Mike. Then maybe... You wouldn't have had this confusion that I was trying to mislead you. I say the same thing to Mobley, and Samuelson agrees. Dude, you're the one who was in the wrong in that case, too. Shame on you. And Frank Caldwell, you're an asshole, man. You led her to believe that you guys were going to be dating and she was going to dump Frank Nelson. And then she showed us the whole scene on the way back where you were just like, I can't do that to Squiggy. And she's just thinking to herself, you can't do that to Squiggy, but you just fucked me. So she just pissed at you. Super pissed. And Summer. We heard a story that you inadvertently, in, in, inexplicitly, blackmailed her with sex to not tell Squiggy she fucked Caldwell. I like her response, grabbing the phone, calling Frank herself and telling him on the spot in front of you. But good God, if you fuck me, I won't tell him. You didn't say it. You left the word fuck out. Will you, and I won't say it, I won't tell him, you fucking creep. She's like, oh, is that how it is? I'll be right back. <laughs> Call Squiggy up. Hey, Frank, it's Lori. I just wanted to let you know I cheated on you with Caldwell. I hung up, looked at Pete, I'm so smiley. You were saying? <laughs> Cocksucker. <clears throat> Robbie. Summers, you aren't as smart as you think you are. You go around like some 
prince of Harvard, and man, the things you don't understand she does is insane. You guys couldn't even comprehend the number of shit she's got for how much she understands, and then the shit that's in it. <laughs> it's nuts. How does she understand that? It is crazy what she understands. And none of you seem to have any understanding of any kind for someone who supposedly you believe to be mentally ill. Why would you treat someone with schizophrenia so badly? You guys all say how crazy she is, but none of you believe it and you just think it's the drugs. If you want to say it's the drugs, then say it's the drugs. But don't try to convince anyone that you believe she's crazy and then try to blame it on the drugs. And you know what drugs make people crazy? Antipsychotics. They also cause seizure disorders, liver failure, kidney failure, and most schizophrenics die 30 years earlier than most people because of the meds they take. So, if you think I'm not on my meds, I'm on the Halidol shot, which is good for a month. So you're right, I haven't been taking my pills, Amy. But I'm not supposed to take the pills if I get the shot. And I don't want to pump my body full of so many goddamn antipsychotics because I don't want to die quite yet. I have to make sure everyone else is going to die too. None of you deserve to live. And I mean that both ways. We, didn't des we don't deserve this. I don't know why we're being punished and put in hell. We didn't deserve this. And also, you guys don't even deserve it. You don't even live life. You guys are so blind to your lack of living. Money is a crutch. Money is, I guess I've evolved to a degree that I have outgrown money. I do not understand why we are still using money. Are we not evolved enough as a species to volunteer our time towards food, water, clothing, housing? What the fuck do we have to pay for it for? We all know we're all going to get what we need. So what the hell is this money shit? When do we get to say, all right, well, it might have been a good idea back then, but it's not a good idea anymore. When is it time for us to say that about money? Because we didn't put it into place. We didn't decide, let's implement a monetary system so we can track the value of goods and services. No, they said.